Today, um, I'm going to be talking about a topic that many MVPs have tried and are still trying to get this working. Um, and yes, the product team is also working with Power Apps Team to make the scenario even more better. Um, the ability to upload files to a library, whether that be images or documents, doesn't really matter, right? A file is a file. Um, through a Power App app. Now, this could also be in custom form if, if you want to, but basically through Power Apps. Now, there is no native support, so we need the help of the awesome flow to basically help us get the image from the Power App and then put it uh, into a SharePoint library. So there is some uh, hack and trickery involved here. Um, this, like a few months back, this was really a cumbersome thing. Um, the only way, the, the only person in this planet that was able to do this, and I'm not joking, is John Liu, um, the MVP uh, for, you know, Office and, and whatnot. Like, he is really, really good in Microsoft Flow. And he's kind of the hardcore developer that has chosen Microsoft Flow as his language. Um, you know, we all choose C Sharp and JavaScript and tend to be happy with it. John chose uh, Flow to do all of his um uh, things that he builds uh, in his in his time. So he showed us uh, a, a, an Azure function, a way to build an Azure function. Um, take the image uh, that you 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 pick in Power Apps and then convert that to bytes through an Azure function. Get that bytes back and start a flow and then push it. Wow, that's like really really uh, hard. Um, and and I do follow his blog and and you know on April 9th he actually blogged about. Um, how to upload image from Power Apps to Flow using an unused Outlook connector. So that kind of, kind of like, um, intrigued me and, and I went through his blog post and I saw all the things, what he was doing. And, and finally that led to what the problem was. Um, so now we are actually in the product team discussing around, hey, why is this different? What, where is it this problem and things like that? So kudos to, you know, John and, and several other MVPs that have been helping us understand what is going on and, and, and take through that. But the good news, you know, we're unblocked. I wanted a solution, something that you can use flow and, and not Azure functions because that's something you need to write code. Um, so let's look at the demo, what, what I'm doing here. So here I have a simple Power App app. I have a picture control that you add in the Power Apps and the button upload to SharePoint. And here's all of my images from my library. So now what I can do is I can um, select a picture from my, um, you know, um, computer, and then that's going to uh, basically show me a preview. And then I'm going to basically now upload to SharePoint. That's going to do its magic. Um, I've noticed that since my images are really big, like maybe 15 MB or something, it's taking a little bit time. Uh, but you can see that there's a progress bar on the top. Uh, that's, that's actually showing, and the button is disabled, meaning that it's doing something with the flow. Um, so hopefully this will get done in a few seconds. Is everyone still with me? Can you see the screen? Can you hear me properly? No scatnados? Yep, all good, all good. You're not presenting by yourself. That's always a good sign. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So it, it, it worked, and you can see this got refreshed. And here's our uploaded image uh, flowers. So that's the demo, and, and that's how it works. So what I'm doing behind the scenes, let's um, let's look at what is happening in the Power App first before we go to the flow. Um, opening the Power App here. Getting things ready. I'm glad we don't have working on it anymore and we have getting things ready. <laughs> That's, by the way, a clever thing. Uh, so. <laughs> yep. So, don't go away. I'm getting things ready. Oh, don't go away. Um, so the, the button is all the magic where it happens, right? So if you look at what I'm doing in my button, um, by the way, here's a cool trick. Um, this is how usually you, you type, right? So you come and type expressions here. And this is okay, but for 
developers who have a background in writing C sharp and JavaScript code really want a really good formatting um, in a way that it, it is you know similar to how you write code. You can do this format text and wow, it, it actually now forms the everything like like a code. So it's it's pretty cool and, and easy to read uh, for me rather than you know being in this state to continue like a line. So really cool tip uh, if you're using Power Apps and, and writing uh, expressions. So what I'm doing here when I click the upload button is I'm going to set uh, something, a variable file path, uh, and then I'm getting the value from a flow. So this is calling a flow, Power Apps file upload to sp.1, and then it's sending the uploaded image uh, that you picked from the control and the name of the file that you picked from the control. And that's it. And that's going to execute, that's going to set something in the file path. And I'm just checking if the file path is not blank, uh, then refresh the data source. Here is the demo data, data source. And I use the semicolon to continue that statement for the condition being true. This reset the add media button, which is the control, the picture control to true. So this is what happens. Really, really simple thing to call. Now let's go look at uh, flow. And here is the Power Apps file upload to SharePoint. So this is basically a flow with a trigger, Power Apps trigger. Um, and then that's how it, you can relate to uh, the, the Power App. Um, one of the things we found out that, that the problem, the reason why we're not able to use to create file directly with the Power Apps is that um, one of the things you do uh, to get input from the Power Apps in your flow is you just go to, you know, a, the, the property in any action. And then if you want this to be uh, something that you take a dynamic content from Power Apps, uh, all you do is you click the see more, which is the Power Apps trigger, and you can say ask in Power Apps. So I'm going to do this now. So it's going to say ask in Power Apps, and it's going to create create file underscore file content. And this is going to be the type of this file content property, right? Similarly, I did the same with the Outlook connector, send an email for the attachments content. So it's, it generated the send email attached content. Now, if you go look at this Power Apps trigger and peak code, you can see what is the type and what it is getting returned. So you can see attachments content is byte format in, 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 in a string, right? It's a format of byte with, with string type. So you're gonna get a bunch of strings with bytes. And then, the file content, which I just added, uh, it shows binary. And this is the biggest difference why it works for Outlook and why it does not work for SharePoint. So we are requesting binary, uh, but we're not getting the right um, things back from Share Power App. So we're working to see what is, the, you know, what is going on. And even for byte, I get a large string array. I actually don't get a byte, um, you know, I have to get an array of bytes, right? So if they want to really build that image. So we are working to understand what is going on, but right now this is a workaround. So you add an Outlook connector, you go to that Outlook connector, and you say, ask in Power Apps, that will put the right parameter, the right format, and then you basically use that parameter as the input to the file content property for the create file. And you make a condition such a way that your flow will never go to this Outlook send an email condition, right? One is equal to two. It's never going to be. Uh, or in the world of horses, it could be. So be careful when you're there. Um, otherwise, in this normal world, one is never going to be equal to two. So you're not never going to go to this, uh, you know, condition. It'll always come back here. And and that's how this whole magic works. So if you go look at our runs that we just did, um, you can see that now. Here, I got my schema, and output is just, you know, click to download, and it's going to give you what uh, flows uh, got from Power Apps and what they store. And you can see here is the string representation of that image. Um, so somehow, if you make the format um, as byte, um, it works. If you make the format as binary, which is what SharePoint Action, um, uh, you know, asks for Power Apps to send, this doesn't work. So it's a it's a simple workaround. Um, yes, you need to know about this a little bit, and it's not native yet. But 
it's a really, really simple workaround than calling an Azure function and, and basically trying to do some, you know, connecting from flow to Azure and getting all the data back. So, um, John Liu, uh, blogged about this in detail. Um, so I'm going to paste that in the chat window here. Um, so you can follow the steps from the blog post and, and basically build your own, uh, power apps that can upload files to SharePoint, um, using a flow, um, which is pretty cool actually now. Yeah. And, and that's the demo. Awesome. Thank you, Jax. Really, really cool stuff um, and, and really, really useful uh, having those resources and the demo available. Just to note as well, so John Liu is just, just this humongous amount of awesome stuff on his blog post uh, related on flow and, and automation. So really, really great resource. Could, uh, maybe one thing, Jax, do you know, uh, is there a file size limit uh, for the stuff when you're uploading for the files? Um. I don't know about that. That's something I'm still exploring. Yep. Um, yeah, there's a limit both on like how much big a file could be in the Power Apps, and then there's a limit on how big a file you could upload um, in to the SharePoint. So right now this is using, uh, uh, I would say, yeah, I, I, I don't know the exact. No, no, it's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Jerks. Mm -hmm.